happy wednesday friends today we are making sprouts from green grams and i'll take you through the process of making sprouts and i'll even share a recipe so we begin by picking out a half of a cup of green grams and removing the dirt and those uh, green grams that are, you're sure will not sprout so you remove them and we put them in that our cup and while picking them um, I'll just wish to tell you that sprouts are very rich in iron sprouts of legumes are rich in vitamin E and vitamin B2 and they're also highly alkaline also being that they're legumes they have high content of protein which is good for building your body once you're done soak this in two cups of water overnight then pour out the water and add another water and soak so you will have soaked for a total of two days 48 hours this will increase the rate at which it will sprout so this is after two days all you'll do is to wash them and rinse out the water gently and I'm going to use this container which has some holes to sprout you can use a plate as well so this is washed and I'm pouring them there and distributing them evenly and we'll cover and put in a warm dark place overnight you can cover with any col any other color of material it does not have to be black only that black absorbs heat and so warmth is required so this is day one uh, we have some small sprouts as you can see and even if you look beneath where I'm just about to show you you'll see roots so do this every morning and evening pour water ensure the water goes you just pour they have a little touch of water but they don't remain there those are the roots of day one after the two days of soaking here we're in day two they have grown a bit longer yeah and we'll repeat our process look at the roots they have also grown a bit pour water in every morning and every evening to ensure they are hydrated so this is the process we'll repeat every single day for up to seven days and the water inside the bowl pour out and cover we are into day three and as you can see they have become longer again and we just repeat the same process look at the roots that become big as well so pour out the pour the water once again and day four you'll realize that they have grown longer and i realized that they were turning color i don't know if this is the sign of the presence of iron considering that the sprouts are very rich in iron nonetheless we'll just do as we always do pour some water to hydrate them and cover day five wow they have filled this container and the roots have also grown longer so i was not able to take a video for day six i it was on a sabbath but there was significant growth as you will see in day seven which is just coming imagine this is day seven the leaves have come out they have become long and the roots have become longer and it was just amazing so this is how they are looking yeah and i'll repeat the process again and give it one more day 
and that one more day they grew. So this is day eight and I'm going to share a recipe with you using the sprouts. Here we have turmeric powder, we have coriander powder, the coriander seed powder, we have salt, I'm using pink salt or Himalayan salt. Here we have garlic powder, some onions, the red onions. Um, here we have a courgette. If you can get carrots, it will also add color. Here we have tomatoes, we have some potatoes, we have spring onions and coriander leaves and those are our only ingredients. So we'll start by working out on our sprouts. We'll remove a portion of them from here and cut out the, the roots because the roots are bitter. And I learned a lesson from cutting this. The Bible says in John 15 verse 3 that the, the, the ones that bear fruit, he purges them to bear more fruit. I just automatically realized that I was taking the ones that are longer and the ones that are short and um, bent, I ignored them. And it's the same with us. God desires to improve us daily if you're not bearing fruit he will have to take you out to a place where he, you will start um, bearing fruit so we've prepared our vegetables our tomatoes will add with our courgettes the onions and the potatoes will saute them i love leaving the covers on because the covers are rich in potassium which is good for your heart and balancing your body electrolytes the coriander and the spring onions I'll add them uh, together at the end. Here I've placed one tablespoon of oil and two tablespoons of water and I've allowed them to boil a little. So I'll begin by my onions and potatoes and garlic. If you have fresh garlic, it's okay. You can use two cloves. So I'm sauteing this. And once, um, in just a minute, they appear soft. So what you do is add your tomatoes and your courgette once they become soft. And if you realize that the food is sticking to your pan, you can add some little water to ensure that there is no burning. At this point, you can also add your carrot if you have carrots. Chop them into small um, cubes. Yes. Once this is done, we'll add our sprouts. I realized that I used uh, minimal sprouts. Um, use them a lot of sprouts because they shrink. They become like spaghetti or veggies. So... I'll also add my turmeric and my coriander at this point and some water, little enough just to cook the sprouts. Cover for two minutes. I realized that these two minutes was a long time. The sprouts really shrunk. Either way, it's okay. They came out sweet, as you will see ahead. Stir this to ensure that the um, seasonings have mixed with the food. And lastly, we'll add our salt to bring taste. Salt also binds nutrients. And also, we'll add our coriander and the green spring onions. And stir. And you're good to go. This is ready. You can take it alone. You can take it with some cooked rice. Any carbohydrate. Any simple carbohydrate. Or you can just take it alone because the amount of protein here is high. Remember also potatoes are proteins. So our food is ready. I garnished it with some green 
onions and some cucumber which are very rich in vitamin C and will help to absorb the iron in the sprouts. Remember when you eat, you eat to the glory of God. Remember also to be a channel of light in everything that you do. The Lord depends on you. Bye.